This week we're bringing you our top stories. Our top story this week, Mr. Meredith Cromarty was sentenced for a gang-related shooting that took place in Elizabethtown. Cromarty was sentenced to between 60 to 80 months after making an offer plea and accepting responsibility for his actions. Also in court, uh, Mr. Kelly Hamilton was given a $500,000 bond on a first-degree murder charge. Uh, Mr. Hamilton is facing charges in the death of Miss Crystal Lynn McLean. Also this week, our business leaders came together at the industrial park. They met at Cape Fear Vineyard and Winery to discuss some brainstorming about ways that they can improve the business climate and economy of Bladen County and how to draw more businesses to the county. Also, our county commissioners met on Monday night and they recognized our 10U All-Star team as our girls team and they are state champions and we wish them all the best and congratulations to them. And also, the new charter school in Monroe Bladen has gotten a green light from the State Board of Education. They are approved to open in 2017 academic year and our understanding is applications will become available to the public on November the 4th and prior to that there will be a series of community information meetings starting in October and if you'll stay with Bladen Online we'll bring you more details about those as those details become available. Also this week um, Saturday, August the 27th will be our Race for Hope to benefit Southeastern Carolina Crossroads. It'll take place at the Dublin Motor Speedway. Also leading up to the race, there are raffle tickets that are on sale for a diamond ring that has a value of $3,159. Those raffle tickets are $5 each and can be picked up at Dublin Motor Speedway, Race Furniture Inc., and at the Bladen Online office. And we encourage you to really support that race. It's a Southeastern Carolina Crossroads. It's a great ministry, and they do a lot of good for folks in Bladen County. And that's our top stories for this week. You can read about these and our other stories at www.bladenonline.com.